sitting just two miles off the mouth of the Kennebec River, Seguin Island has been a landmark for passing sailors since the late 1700s when a lighthouse was first constructed here. The harsh granite ledges are home to many creatures and provide an excellent place to start our series on exploring Maine's underwater world. Today, we take you under the waves at Seguin Island. We are moored just a few miles up the Kennebec River, so Seguin is just a quick dinghy ride down the river and across a short stretch of open water that separates it from the mainland. As soon as we drop in, we're greeted by classic Maine green water and hard granite ledges. These ledges provide habitat for all kinds of cool critters, like these delicate frilled anemones. The steep ledges here are habitat for another classic main critter, the lamp shell, a species of brachiopod. These delicate shells may look like a clam or a mussel, but they're actually completely unrelated. Nestled among the brachiopods is the sea squirt called a sea peach. These are actually more closely related to us than any of the other invertebrates we'll see today. Although they may look like delicate flowers, this colony of tubularian hydroids are actually more closely related to jellyfish and coral. A little further along, we find a pair of rock crabs engaged in what scientists call pre-copulatory mate guarding. Basically, the male is hanging onto the female till she's ready to mate. While this may look like just a bit of algae, this master of disguise is called a toad crab. They actually cover themselves with that algae so each toad crab gets to indulge their own personal fashion sense. Sarah has found a little patch of slime worms. Despite their name, I think these guys are really cool. You have to approach very carefully, otherwise they retract back into their slimy tube. Although most of what we see are invertebrates, we do find fish every now and again, like this radiated shanty hiding under a ledge. One of my favorite finds on this dive was this beautiful northern red sea anemone. They come in a crazy array of colors, so they're always fun to video. Unfortunately, even down here, there are signs of humanity's presence everywhere we go. Twisted balls of line and broken lobster traps are scattered across the bottom. The PVC coating on the traps eventually breaks down and ends up in the sediment, and the line can entangle marine mammals. Even more sinister is this rubbery sea squirt, commonly called sea vomit or sea snot. It's highly invasive and easily overgrows the native creatures. Fortunately, here at Seguin, the patches are relatively small. As we slowly work our way back to the boat through the shallows, we swim through throngs of cunner. A beautiful way to end another great series of dives here in Midcoast, Maine. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos about underwater exploration in Maine this summer and further south in the winter and beyond.